Well, it is 100% true that there is no future in Ghana. In fact, we need to leave right now, right away. If you don't pack your goods, you don't pack your luggages and leave right now, you are going to suffer and continue to suffer. Well, guys, you might come for me, but this is our mentality as young African, as people in Ghana, as people in Africa. We always think about government, government, government. When is government going to be at peace? And when are we also going to start doing our own thing without thinking of government? That sometimes I'll say, if the government doesn't give us job, what at all? can we do to get job ourselves? We've run through all the education system, right from primary, GHS, SHS, to the university, and we've acquired skills, but then we are still waiting on the government to do what? To give us job. That is African mentality. Well, the second one is corruption. The reason why there's no future in Ghana and we must live right now is corruption because it's who knows you, not who you know. Anyway, I know the president. You also know the president. But does the government know me? Does the president know me? Does Akufado know me? Alan Cash doesn't know me. Well, no. He doesn't know any of us. So all that we need to do is to do what? To forget about these people and start working on ourselves. Start creating job opportunity for ourselves. Start using the skills we have acquired. If you, you are someone who went into education system, maybe in your bachelor's degree, you did what? You did education at. What you can do is to open a YouTube channel and then start teaching online. Why should you wait for the government to come and employ you before you start making money? Well, that is not what you have to do. If you all want to complain about government, about corruption, then, well, that is it. We need to leave Ghana. No future in Ghana. That thing that we have to talk about is also people have this mindset that Ghana is no stay country i mean no stay country you don't have to stay in this country because everything that we see it's problem we don't have solution to problem all that we see day in day out are problem we can actually fish out those problems but we can't create solution that is the mentality of we young african i mean we young Ghanaians. we are good at identifying problems but we are not good at looking for solution so the only thing we want to say is to tell us that there is no future in Ghana. But people from abroad, they will leave their country and come and identify problem and also look for solution for that particular problem with their own packet, with their own thing. They will look for solution and then they will be perfectly but you in ghana you identify the problem but then you are not ready to look for solution you always want to depend on the government is that how the education system anyway i i want to blame because this is how the education system actually train us no school will teach you how to open a youtube channel no school will teach you how to do e-commerce no school will teach you how to do drop shipping these are businesses that you can put yourself in as a young graduate now waiting for government to employ you. This is what you can do. This is these are the things you can do instead of you waiting for the government to include you on their payroll list. Therefore, we conclude that there's no future in Ghana. Therefore, we must leave Ghana. If you leave Ghana, people who are not Ghanaian will come back to your country and also take over you. They will rule you and they will make policy that doesn't favor you. So if that's what we want, fine, then let's all leave Ghana and come back 10 years later and see whether we will fit in this country. The thing that you are going to leave, I mean, you are going to see that there's no future in Ghana because we've all closed our mind to every opportunity. Ghanaians, we don't like opening our minds. In fact, 
we hate taking risk. Imagine someone who has been into kind of business for 10 years and that business is getting worse day in, day out. The person will not leave that business because the person thinks that when she leaves that business, when he leaves that business, what is next? What is next? Have you tried to take a risk? This is one thing we don't like taking. We hate taking risk because we feel like when we leave this one, the one we are going to meet will be worse than this. The same thing if you're someone who read a course at a university and that course, looking at the outside world, there's no job for that course. You can go to the master's level and learn something else, but then this person would decide to go to the master's and read the same course. You are that same course they are going to read. When you get into the job market, there's no job for you. That is the risk we don't like taking. Guys, I'm going to stop this video here today. If you have found value in this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to you. See you in my next video. Peace out.